A year ago, many people probably have never heard of Zoom. Today, Zoom has become a staple for video conferencing during the COVID-19 pandemic. Zoom went public in April 2019 on NASDAQ at price for $65 per share. The price went up to 478 per share on September 2020. At this price, Zoom is worth more than all major American airlines combined. The skyrocketed stock price boosted a Chinese immigrant, Eric Yuan, into the Three Comets Club. So who is Eric Yuan? Well, he's the founder and CEO of Zoom. He owns 19% of Zoom and his net worth is $22 billion in September 2020 based on Forbes calculation. Financial Times called him the new king of remote working. He grew up in an ordinary family in mainland China. He had a master degree in engineering management from a tier 2 university in China. Before moving to the U.S., he worked in Japan for a few years. A speech of Bill Gates about the Internet inspired him to move to Silicon Valley. After his visa applications have been rejected eight times, he set his foot on the U.S. land in 1997. He didn't have much money and barely spoke any English at the time. He joined WebEx a web conferencing startup company at Engineer. Attended the Stanford EMBA in 2006 when he was leading the engineering team at WebEx. He became a VP of engineering after Cisco acquired WebEx in 2007. No rich daddy, no political background, no stellar resume from Ivy League. How did an immigrant with a heavy accent pull off his American dream and become a billionaire in just 23 years? Luck? Maybe. The COVID-19 did boost Zoom's valuation and Yuan's personal net worth. However, he became a billionaire when Zoom went public in 2019. I think there are a few important factors that contribute to his success. In Chinese words, he has had In English, it means the right time, the right place, and the right people. First of all, recognize the trends and opportunities and act on them. This seems to be the common traits of most technology entrepreneurs. He recognized internet would be a big thing. Then he came to U.S. to pursue a piece of it. He recognized the video would be the next stage of remote communication. He left Cisco to start Zoom. Secondly, choose the right place to start. Silicon Valley is technology focused and provided him the opportunity to settle, learn, and grow. The place also provided the talents, money, and technology he needed for Zoom. And most importantly, hard work. Yuan lives by the motto, work hard and stay humble. Back in his initial WebEx days, he spent most of the time coding. Today, he was busy working 18 hours a day, doing nothing but sleep, eat, and Zoom. Equally important, be persistent. His visa was rejected eight times before he was granted permission to the U.S. If he gave up after his first few rejections, he would not be billionaire today. When he is looking for investors for Zoom, many people rejected him, but he did not give up. Other factors contribute to his success. Number one, be a good storyteller. 
Grant is a good storyteller. He uses stories to help him to build brand of his company and himself. Number two, know how to use strengths. He has no formal IT education background. He might not be the best programmer, but he knows how to work with others and how to combine his management background with his technical skill. That is why he can move up the corporate ladder and eventually be the top boss. Number three, make people happy, your family, employees, and customers. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and slap the bell for 50 years of amazing great, 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 great luck.